Our top story at 10 o'clock, a health alert, a probable case of monkeypox now found in Oregon. If confirmed, it would be the first case in the state. It is 10 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Den. This alert coming out just this afternoon from the Oregon Health Authority. We sent our Jenny Young to find out what you need to know to keep you and your family safe. Jenny? Well, Liz, Jeff, we found out this is not a new virus. It's been around since the 60s. It's more common in West and Central Africa where there are rainforests, but it is hard to get. Um, it's typically contact, uh, you typically get it through skin to skin contact. People do travel, right? People do travel. It's a global village. So, no, we're not surprised. Oregon now among 21 states in the U.S. with confirmed cases of the HMPXV infection, also known as monkeypox. This person actually had uh, traveled to an area where monkeypox is currently circulating, and that is where the exposure appears to have occurred. Health officials say historically the virus has been rare in the U.S., but four weeks ago, the first case in a recent outbreak popped up in Massachusetts after a person traveled from Canada. The Oregon Health Authority won't disclose where the man who contracted the virus lives in the state or where he traveled from, but tell us he is isolating and following recommendations from public health authorities and medical providers. We are working with the person who's sick uh, in order to figure out who might have had the kind of contact, the very close prolonged contact that would be needed to put them at risk for infection. And the number of people who had that kind of contact is really low. Dr. Richard Lehman with OHA says typical monkeypox symptoms can include fever, headache, muscle aches, and a rash. He says the Oregon patient was tested for the virus after visiting the doctor about a rash. And this uh, astute physician asked the right questions and found out about uh, the travel and possible exposure and gave us a call. We all agreed that testing would make sense. He tells us this virus does not spread easily and there's no reason for the public to panic. This is a hard thing to catch and it requires close, prolonged contact. Most of these cases have been through prolonged skin to skin contact like through sexual activity. After two and a half years of the COVID-19 pandemic, Dr. Lehman understands why people might be on edge with the news of monkeypox. However, he reiterated the risk to the public is minimal. And I think everybody's just kind of sensitized and they don't want something like that to happen again. And happily, monkeypox isn't that. Here in the U.S., the states with the most cases are California. They have 21 cases. In New York, they have 17. Now, if you have more questions about monkeypox, we have posted a question and answer list on coin.com on this story. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin6 News.